saw the power of what we might be able to use those results for, we all got extremely excited. And the conversations were back and forth, back and forth, because we saw that we could not only learn about what our students know, but we can learn about what our students don't know, and possible reasons as to why they don't know that. In the school year, we look at our post-MDTP results. We look at what topics in MDTP have our students struggled with, and which topics do they seem okay on. So the ones that we, they struggled with, we will then focus in on that, and we'll say to ourselves as a teaching team, how could we teach these concepts differently the next time? How have we done it right now? And since our students tend to not do well in this area, based on our MDTP result, how might we change what we're doing? And so over the summer, we think about that. That's our summer homework as teachers. How are we going to do something differently next year? Well, teacher collaboration is enhanced quite a bit. It gives us a chance for the teachers to talk about, for example, individual students. Uh, if a student got a very weak score, the teacher who is teaching the next course might recommend the student to get some remediation in that skill. At the same time, the teacher who had that student the previous year can comment on some of the reasons for the weaknesses. Uh, maybe it's a maturity question rather than just an academic question. So uh, we, we get a lot of those conversations. Our, t our teachers then end up knowing all the students quite well, even if they haven't had students in their class. After we identify uh, a problem from our MDTP results, for example, fractions, then teachers uh, many times will um, show us how they taught that lesson, either in front of a student, a student audience or just, here's how I've been teaching it, this is what I do. And that also opens up another field of conversation for us because we can say, oh, I love how you did that, that's very neat how you did that, have you ever thought about this or approaching it in this way? And the thing that's cool about it is because if you look at your MDT uh, plausible distractors, they give you possible reasons that students are incorrectly answering them. And you can take those incorrect responses and you can actually use that in your teaching. When I gave the MDTP to my students in September, I found out that, they're, that they overall um, had weaknesses in geometry and measurement and in fractions, decimals, and percents. This was also a result we found for the whole school. So. One of the things that I've done in my classroom with the algebra students is that I have tried to integrate geometry topics into my units of study. For example, my very first unit of study, the students uh, were given topographical maps. They used the maps to measure elevation over feet. Culminating activity was that given the piece of land, they had to actually plot a driveway from the road up to the house under the constraints from the Department of Transportation. So they used a string and they found out they had to actually adjust um, the distance, make the string longer or shorter to, for the elevation changes. So there was a lot of integrated pieces of geometry with the algebra. The nice thing about MDTP is we get the results within two days of administering the test. That allows us to sit down with the details of the results. We also put the data in a database so we can look at the data from a gender point of view, we can look at it from a graduating class point of view, we can look at it from the ethnicity point of view, and we look to see if there's any one strand that in a particular year or year after year the students are scoring low at. We'll look at the course that's appropriate for that and see if maybe we're not doing a good job of teaching that strand within the course. We have professional learning communities at our school and when our teachers break out into those PLCs they're able to use the results of MDTP not only with 6th, 7th and 8th grade teachers but also with the teachers in kindergarten through 5th grade because a lot of the same concepts are introduced in the lower grades. So when teachers are finding that students are struggling in the upper grades we present those to teachers in the lower grades when they're introducing those concepts. Sometimes I've used the diagnostic to help me to create learning centers. To dial in to students' particular weakness and then try to do some sort of intervention while we're in class, different types of learning centers going on. And what happens is that if you start to fill in some of their holes, that the whole class catches up and then you don't need to do that anymore. And pre-algebra, when the kids in the past uh, took the algebra readiness test, we noticed graphical interpretations was a weak area. We then looked at the standards in seventh grade pre-algebra and we realized that there isn't much of a graphical interpretation 
portion, so we added it to the course. What happened is the following year, that became the kind of the middle strand and something else moved to the bottom. We're looking at ways to implement it into our advisory program, into after-school tutoring, into Saturday tutoring, a way that they could carry this with them and come in and say, this is the area that I, that I need to work on, and we could get them the resources to work on those areas. We might know they're struggling with an arithmetic problem within fractions, but we don't know specifically, is it adding fractions, subtracting fractions? Is it improper fractions? Is it um, mixed numbers? What is it about that that they don't know? So it gives us a generalization over what they don't know in mathematics, but we don't know the specifics. We don't know if they struggled with that problem or not. Our standardized test results don't tell us that. But when I look at our MDTP results, I actually can hone in and get very specific on what students know and what they don't know, and possibly why they don't know that. As a teacher, it's very powerful to know or get insights into what they don't know and why they might not know that. Music